Hello everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing video 5 of our 7 video series of Design My Nails. So I had asked my best friend's daughter to send me some drawings to design my nails and today we're going to be working on my middle finger. For the past two videos, we have done root beer and cereal. Today, we're going to be doing this carrot drawing and applying it to my nail. I'm starting off by laying down this orange stamping polish. And I'm going to be applying a very thin coat. And this polish does dry fairly quickly. So that I can apply a second coat. It does lay on a little translucent and I want to make this design opaque. So for this series of these videos, I had placed a child safe feature. So the comments will be turned off. But this way we will allow the kiddos to watch and enjoy these videos for my design my nail challenge. And now I'm just taking my shiny orange striping polish and I'm going to be creating the lines for this carrot. And there's no real rhyme or reason for these lines. I'm just making them um, sporadic. And I've chosen this color to kind of blend in with the carrot. And I saw this drawing and I was like, oh man, I should have probably had a stiletto nail. But um, the Gelish Soft Gel uh, tips that I'm using are a uh, long coffin shaped but I feel that this shape still um, conveys the shape of a carrot so I'm just going to lay this down and try to give it a little bit of a raise so that there's some dimension to the the design and i am now going over the slightly dried polish to just create some indentations um when you look at a carrot it does have these kind of indentations in there. I didn't want this to be too perfect. And it is, when I run this over with the brush, it is creating this really cool divot in there. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna make these shorter lines and right now I'm just going to make some brow lines just to be silly because we're going to give eyes um, to this carrot. And I'm just going to fill in between these segments some more lines, giving it that uh, more carrot realistic look. <laughs> 
putting a little mouth there. So after this has fully dried, I'm taking my Top It Off Clear Gel and I'm putting on a layer of that on this nail. I want to make sure that I get every piece of surface that is exposed because when we nail cleanse, I don't want to accidentally nail cleanse off the um, orange polish. So it gave that a cure. So as you can see here, I'm just giving down a little wipe with the nail cleanser to remove the sticky layer. And then I'm going to put some, I guess, the green parts of the carrot, but I'm going to make it like hair. So I'm going to take my green metallic, it's like a light metallic green striping um, polish and I'm going to just take my brush and run some ringlets around here. Make it nice and organic. <laughs> An organic looking organic carrot. And this is pro. I think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable doing line work. I mean, this isn't planned or strategic or anything, so it's a lot easier to do. But um, yeah, I'm still a little uncomfortable doing lines on my nails. Um, at least I'm doing it with my writing hand this time. <laughs> so. Um, my right hand normally has short nails um, so it's typically the longer nails that I have more room to do design work so I'll do more freehand on my left hand which means I'm doing it with my right but um, so I'm kind of glad that I'm doing it this time with my left because I obviously draw and write with my left but it still feels a little uncomfortable. But I am making do. I guess as I was painting this carrot, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have given this little guy a name. <laughs> Um, I'm out of names. I wouldn't know what to call this little guy here. Carrot top. What would you name this carrot character? So yeah, so um, this design my nail I call it Design My Nail Challenge, um, was definitely a challenge, um, as I've said in the previous videos, because these are like very intricate drawings, and they're of everyday things, but uh, to make a full set um, flow together is really hard. So, I mean, at least it's food themed. The theme is actually comfort, so um, I guess all things comforting. Um, as far as vegetable goes, I find that corn is my comforting vegetable. So um, I'd say leave a comment below, but um, uh, let's just in the air say, uh, what is your um, comforting vegetable? I can eat corn for days. I just don't understand why. It's like one of those carbs that you probably shouldn't eat so much of. But, um, I love me some corn. And so I guess, um, 
carrots is hers. So I'm just lining this with some green glitter. I thought I'd add a little sparkle to this. So um, the other uh, rule to this Design My Nail challenge is to add some bling. So we're going to add some sparkles. And I'm going to be adding some rhinestones for the eyes. And I guess in a way to kind of tie in all these nails, I'm going to use the same um, clear rhinestones that you see here. And I'm just going to go back in and um, I'll layer the glitters on top of each other so it's a more bolder line. And as you can see, like this hair, or what's supposed to be hair for this carrot, is definitely starting to. Um, stick out and um, show that it is a form of hair. So I'm really starting to like this. This is so, it's, it's very simple, but these color combinations, I really like, um, you know, whoever rocks an orange nail and you don't see it that too often, but it's a bright orange nail with some um, bright green on there, but it works. I did originally think that I was going to like encapsulate um, some actual carrot shredded pieces into the nail, but I thought that may be, that may be a little like difficult, I don't know, uh, to put fresh produce on your nail. <laughs> it might discolor later. Anyway, after I let this dry, I'm going to apply a clear top coat over this. The other idea that I thought that I would do is maybe do like a carrot cake nail. Um, but of course, you know, if you don't know what carrot cake is, uh, you wouldn't say, look at it and say, oh, that's it's carrots. So <laughs> unless you put a, um, a carrot on the cake, which um, some people do. And the icing but I figured just just do a carrot and look at this guy he's it's so cute you got the little eyebrows there and the little uh, clear rhinestones for eyes but after curing that I am taking some nail cleanser and wiping off the sticky layer shining up those eyes and as you can see like you have to make sure you cover um, put the top coat on every part of um, the regular nail polish, otherwise you'll wipe it right off like I just did. So now I'm taking cuticle oil and I'm just rubbing this around my finger. Giving my skin some life. It's not too dry, but it's kind of dry. And this is the end result. My carrot coated nail. I think this is so cute. This is Isms by Josie. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And see me again tomorrow when we move on to the index finger. 
for my Design My Nail Challenge. And there you can also see the root beer nail, the root beer float nail, and the um, Fruity Pebbles cereal nail. I want to thank my best friend Starter for submitting these drawings to me, and I can't wait for the next two. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.